And welcome to Fit, Fabulous, and Over 50. I'm your host, Renee Miller. The goal of this show is to teach you how to become fit in the privacy and comfort of your own home. You will learn both functional and practical exercises designed to tone your muscles and get your heart rate up, get you moving. Now listen, if you've never exercised before, you do need to consult with a physician. Otherwise, let's get started. Are you a golfer? If so, you're going to love this show. Grab some light weights or soup cans, and we're going to take you through a unique workout today designed to closely emulate the sports movements in golf. But before we do, let's go to the muscle chart and talk about the main movers. Although golf is a very movement-based exercise that uses the entire body, there are particular exercises that are used more closely associated with muscles moving the most, and that would be the muscles of the back, both the low back and the middle back, the latissimus dorsi, the erector spinae, up into the upper back, rhomboids, trapezius, and then of course the shoulders, all of the shoulder areas, both the rear deltoids, the middle and anterior deltoid. Of course the chest is used. And then besides using the legs, perhaps some of the most important area are the rotator muscles, the obliques, and the abdominal muscles that make up the trunk section. So we are going to do an amazing workout today to help you. You can do this in the privacy and comfort of your own home. And this is to help you emulate sports movements in golf so you can become a better swinger and ultimately a better player. Before we get started, let me introduce my guest today, Marty Johnson. Marty is a full-time teaching pro here in the area. Hi, Marty. It's a pleasure. How are you today? Good. Before we get started exercising, I'm going to be taking Marty today through a functional fitness workout. But before we get started, Marty, I'd like for you to come over here and line up and, sh and demonstrate your move with your swinging as if you were out in the middle of the fairway driving towards the green. Okay? Okay, that's great. Let's see it again. Good. All right. Now, what I'd like for you to do, if you would, Marty, is to break it down. So you're going to take, we'll take it in apartments. We'll start by going to your backswing and ask you to stop there. So as you can see, Marty is very wound up. He's got a lot of rotational force going on. His hips and most of his weight is over on his right. Now come back to the hitting area. And he's already transferred his weight to the left. Now through and follow through. And his head comes up and he finishes. And look how he finishes. When he finishes, most of his weight's on his left leg, barely on his right toe at all. And see how much torque. All right, let's do one more time. That's great. Straight through to the hitting area. Following through, his head's up, and he pulls up through. That's really good. Now. We want to take that same idea and those same swing patterns and we're going to break them down into very functional and unique exercises designed to totally condition the golfer. All right, you ready? You ready, Marty? All right, we're going to start by just warming up so you can put your club down and I'm going to stand here and let's get a little warm, everybody. We're going to get the music up and we're just going to start with our feet about hip distance apart, shoulders are down. Let's take a big reach up. You're going to inhale, stretch those arms, tip, get those fingers together, look down at the carpet, reach up through the back. Now over to your side, really reach up, out. Good. Lift, stretch up, and go over. Very good. You want to feel that stretch? Come down to center, and you're just going to roll your shoulders back. Two, and three and four, go forward now, and round those shoulders. Feel the stretch across the mid back. And we're just gonna reach up, one arm up, and you're gonna pull up out of the rib cage. Think of reaching. 
As you reach up and over, you're gonna turn your head down, look down at the floor, and back. And we're gonna go the other one, lifting up, over, and stretch. Eyes dropping to the floor. Really feel the rib cage separating. Up and down. Okay, let's just look to the left or to the right and center in the other way. And one more time, just moving. Let the eyes go as far as they will and through. Okay, a little bit of squatting now. Hands on the thighs, abdomen tight and you're just gonna round your low back up and press the tailbone out and round the low back up and press the tailbone up. And one more time, this time round all the way up, standing tall, and we're just gonna tap our toes. Okay, now, I want you to drop your feet down and I want you to just start turning your upper body just a little bit. Good, just swing with the arms nice and free, swing. Now normally we wouldn't be doing a lot of swinging, but because of the rotational movement, we wanna get those muscles warmed up before we use them. You don't wanna go out on that golf course cold and then you're gonna come later on and say, I have a bad back, I've hurt my back. Last time, breathe up. You're gonna take your right hand, our left, you're gonna drop it down behind your back. Take the elbow and press in a downward direction. Good. And up, over to the other way, and stretching. Great. All right, that's a great warm up. All right, Marty, let's get your club, and we're gonna start out demonstrating this rotational exercise behind the back. Get your position, your ready position. All right, now, the thing that you wanna make sure, friends, is that you keep your abdominals nice and tight. That's gonna protect your low back, good. Okay, now, Marty, I want you to begin by just going through your swing to the top, back to center, and then through to the follow through. Good. Good, excellent. Okay. Beautiful, and then you're gonna reset. So we'll do that three or four times. Good place to warm up. Friends, you wanna follow this as much, po as much possible, as, as much as you possibly can, as the way that you would actually be doing this if you were playing your game, okay? So you wanna make sure that when you come back to center, you reset every time. All right, now, we're gonna take away, the, we're gonna take away the stop component, and I want you to go through and come back and reset and just keep going through. All right, let's see him do it. That's it, and again. Set up and through, and again. Good, and through. All right, excellent. Now let's take the club away and we're gonna begin a small functional workout designed to work those rotators. You wanna really tighten the abdominals here. That this is a lifted up feeling, not a crunched in feeling. The, the abdominals should never crunch in. They should always pull and lift and tighten. Arms across the chest, and you're gonna start out slowly, rotating right and then through to the left, rotating right and then through to the left. And Marty, I'll have you come to the center and show it. And I'm gonna talk about what you're doing. Go ahead and get started. All right, let's see what you're doing all right. And through to the left. Now, do it again. And through to the left. Now, I want you to take away the follow through, and I want you to just begin to rotate the upper body. You want to keep the hips quiet and really begin to work the rotators. Let's go slow, and then we'll continue until we're doing rapid movement. Good. Notice how he's separating the movement of his torso from his hips. He's really separating there, working the abdomen. Definitely working through the obliques. The latissimus dorsi and the back are working. Okay, now let's pick the pace up. Good. That's great. All right. There's a little movement in the legs, a little torquing of the legs. The knees have to bend a little, but notice that the knees are right over the toes. Good posture is everything, friends. Okay, now, can you go a little faster? 
That's good. All right. Very good. Okay, take a rest. Okay, you feeling warmed up through the middle? Okay, good. Now, the whole goal of doing this is that as you begin to do this with the right form and repeat, you're going to begin to build some muscle endurance, and that is the really important key if you're going out. Marty, how many times do you think you hit a club if you play 18 holes? 100 times? 150 times? Okay, so 40, 40 or 50 times you're swinging with a lot of force. Okay, all right, okay. So now we're gonna take the same idea, but we're gonna add a three pound weight. And I'm gonna demonstrate what I'd like for you to do. Friends, you wanna grab that soup can or that little three pound weight, okay? You're gonna start with your ready position, your golfer's position, abdomen lifted up, hands down, right hand, and you're gonna swing it up to your back swing, and you're gonna bring it back to the hitting area, and you're going to bring it up to the follow through, and come back to the ready position, okay? It's really important. This isn't about swinging away. There'll be no fast swinging of this weight, and that's really important because we're not about hurting your shoulders. What we wanna do here is to emulate the movement of golf and to create some resistance so that you can begin to build some muscle endurance in those areas, okay? All right, Marty. So you're gonna set up. You keep that left hand behind your back, just like that. That's beautiful. All right, separating each movement. Let's go to the back swing. Come back through to the hitting area and through to the follow through. Good. All right, that's great. All right, let's do this again. It's really important to understand. Never do this with anything larger than a three pound weight. Please do not get your five and tens and fifteens out to do this. You can injure yourself in the shoulders and the back. This is meant to be a light resistance workout to create endurance and not a lot of strength. All right, all right, now, I want you to do it again. One more time. Through to the hitting area, he resets and up through. All right, now let's do it with your left hand. Switch sides. Watch how he stopped right there. See how much he's wound up here. His hips are almost still facing forward. That's really important. If you look here, he's got a little twist, but he's more rotated at the top than the bottom. All right, now to the hitting area and to the follow through. Beautiful. All right, let's repeat that three more times. Abdominals lifted up. Make sure you're breathing, friends, as you do these exercises. Two more times. Get the feel for it. Now, in your own workout, you could be doing this 10 and 12 times repeatedly on each side, okay? So the things that we're showing you today, you know you can do them in sets of 10 and 12 to build that endurance. All right, that is so good. Okay, now let's do both hands. So you're gonna align your hands just like you would if you were preparing to swing and go through to the hitting area and to the follow through. Good. Doing it again. Reset. Through. And to the follow through. All right. Two more times. Just like that. Watch the, watch the rotation action. Abdominals tight. Shoulders are working. One more time. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Good job. All right. Now, we're going to do the same idea, only we're going to step into a lunge as we, or no, actually we're going to do a squat first. So you're going to start with the weight, and I'll take the weight, and I'll demonstrate standing here. I'm lined up again. I'm going to take my weight to my back swing. I'm going to come through to center. I'm going to stop and reset, do a squat, back up, and up to the follow through, okay? Back to reset. So it's back swing, center to the hitting area, stand up tall, abdominals and chest lifted, and then through to the follow through. All right. Uh, let's do let's do two hands. And stand up tall, deep. All right. Now when you do the squat, make sure that you don't 
you have a lot of arch in your back, Marty, so you have to be careful that you don't overarch your back and let your hips out. What you need to do, just do the squat for me. Stand up tall. Now, relax your shoulders. You want to feel that length in the arms like you've got your club, okay? But now you're just going to drop into a squat. You want to keep the abdomen tight. Let the butt go out, but don't. That's better. Okay. Repeat the squat just one more time. Showing this is much better form. He was at first starting to rotate out too much. Okay, now put it all together. Up, he comes down, he's gonna lift, reset, he drops, back up, he gets his feet in the right position again, and he goes to the follow through. That's beautiful. All right, let's do that. We'll repeat that three more times. Take your time. Good. Center and follow through. Good. Noticing one thing, as he does this movement, he is resetting his feet and reestablishing his position each time. And that's a very important part of psychologically developing these positions in your mind. Now, we're going to continue to show a little bit more about this, but before we do, let's find out what you can do elsewhere in your house to get fit. If you have a fireplace mantle, you have a built-in place to get a great workout, especially for those troublesome hips and thighs. Pay particular attention. The mantle's strong and will keep you sturdy while you do these leg exercises. Stand to the side, hold on to the mantle, and work those outer troublesome thigh areas by lifting the leg gently out to the side as far as you can keeping the hips lined up front. The knees are right under the hips and swing out only as far as you can lift, keeping your hips square. Good, you wanna think of standing up nice and tall, lightly squeezing those glutes. Now for the reverse muscle, squeeze the inner thigh while crossing the heel in front of the toe. Work those legs. Tighten the muscle as it crosses. Do this like you would be kicking a soccer ball. What a great workout. In front of every magazine on every newsstand, you will find a list of the latest fad diets. One month it's the protein diets, one month it's the carb diet, one month it's the grapefruit only diet. And friends, the truth of the matter is there is no fad diet that's going to successfully help you lose weight and keep it off. Many of them have a good concept, many of them have a good beginning, but the truth of the matter is your body was designed to eat protein, to eat carbohydrates, and to eat fats. It's the amount and the variety and the caloric content that counts. It's a great day to get started doing some push-ups. Now before you back away saying no, 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 I'm going to show you an easy version of push-ups that you can do right in your own bedroom. Push-ups are a great exercise. It's like going to your favorite department store and getting 50% off the lowest markdown price. In other words, they are a bargain. They use almost every muscle in your entire body, including your abdominals, which are very hard to train, and they'll build your muscles and sculpt you in a way that will make you happy. Now, what we're gonna do is stand up, and stand just a few feet away from your bed, facing your bed, place your hands on your bed, and step out until your body is about at a diagonal. Now you're in the starting position. Bend your elbows and slowly lower your chest to your bed. 
push away. Keep your abs nice and tight and drop slowly through the shoulders and back up. As you do this, you want to keep on breathing. Don't hold your breath and by all means, don't let your back sway. Keep your back strong and your abdominals tight, working those opposites. Push with the arms, the chest, the back, and work the legs. Let's do four more. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Wow. I bet you had no idea you could get fit right in your own bedroom. Did you know that fat-free foods really aren't fat-free? Almost any food, including fruits and vegetables, have a trace amount of fat in them. So if you wanted to get rid of all the fat in your diet, you would have to, well, eat air. But do you also know that many, many fat-free foods that are processed have exchanged fat for the number one ingredient, and that ingredient is sugar? Yeah, that's right. And if you're a diabetic or someone that needs to watch your sugar intake, that can be a really, really bad thing. Think of it this way. Any fat-free food has to remove the fat and add something in its place. And it's almost always something that's equally, supposedly, not good for you. Instead, try the light version. Light salad dressing, for instance, has a great reduction in the amount of oil, but it still has a base amount of oil, and it will still provide you with a healthy amount of a balance of nutrients. So look for the light version and try that instead of the fat-free. Welcome back. More on goth. An another amazing exercise designed to help you become totally conditioned for goth is the step through with a lunge. You'll hold the weight in your right hand side. Let me step forward just a little bit. Hold the weight in your right hand side. Set yourself. You're going to swing into your back swing and step through and to a lunge. Step back and step through into a lunge and repeat. And I'm going to let Marty do it. Go ahead, Marty. Step through and lunge, and then just come back. And actually, keep your feet there. That's right. Good. All right. Now, the idea of this exercise is designed, keep going, is designed to get your heart rate up a little bit. So you want to do the, this exercise, the movement of it, continually in repetition, and it's going to build your leg muscles. Contrary to popular opinion, you need strong legs for goth. So this is a great exercise. It's going to work on your gluteus maximus, your quadriceps, your hamstrings, as well as your abdominal strength. Good. All right. Now let's make it more challenging. Let's try the other side. All right. It may feel a little funny. It's going to definitely not feel like your goth swing. The idea of this now is that as you condition yourself, always doing repetitive motion on one side, we want you to balance it out. So now you're going to work on doing both the left and the right, whether you're a lefty or a righty, all right? So you definitely want to do this exercise on both sides. You need to build both legs, big and strong. Good. Excellent. Let's just do a couple more of those. And one more. Good. Woo! Okay. Now, Let's put together a couple of these exercises, and we'll do, we'll do the, the um, swing with the squat. Okay, we'll do four of those, and then I want you to step in and do four 
lunges on your right or with your right hand and then four with your left all right so now here we go a little bit of movement let's get that heart rate up let's build those legs step down in the squat good and up into the follow through very good all right here we go pull it up and down good reset follow through two more keep it going Notice he resets, his abdominals are lifted, he keeps his belly tight as he pushes through. And one more, Marty, you're doing a great job. Reset down, up, and follow through. All right, let's go right into the right hand left knee lunge. Good. All right, I'm going to come around behind you, keep going. Now, let's continue to do this side. We'll do four more on this side. Really watching. You want to make sure that the knee lines up over the toe. Good. Two more. That's right. Excellent. One more. Switch sides. Set again. Same idea. This is a little awkward. He doesn't generally play with his left hand. He does use his left hand a lot. And a lot of movement and a lot of power comes from that left shoulder and left arm. That's really good. Keep it going, Marty. I'm going to do two more on this side. Really good. All right. Take a little rest. Can, I'll take the weight. Let's stretch those shoulders out. Just bring your hands behind you and just stretch back. We'll stretch the chest. Good. And you're going to bring the fingers in front and round. And try not to round the middle back. You want to round just the upper back. Relax across the shoulders and down. All right. One more exercise. No weights involved in this for balance and stability. Okay. Now, standing, let me just show you what I want you to do. I'm going to have you lift your abdominals up. You're going to keep your arms out to the side, and you're going to drop into a little squat and straight back up. Drop into a little squat. And I'm going to let you do that. Come right to the center. Now, Keep your eyes focused up a little bit, Marty. You want to keep, that's it, nice and level. Drop into the squat and back up. Only go as deep with this one, friends, as you can go without allowing that knee to torque in or out. Try to keep the knee aligned over the toe. Keep it going. And that's it. Now you can see that he's doing a little bit of struggling here, but that's the whole point. This is a marvelous stability and balance exercise. If you can't do this without, with, with your arms out, you can always do it holding on to the countertop. All right, let's try the other side. Good. Nice and tall. You do want to keep your eyes, ma making sure your eyes are forward, balancing, pulling up in the abdominals, relax the shoulders. Good. This one looks like a little bit harder for you. He's got a little bit of instability in his knee, and that's a good way to find out where you are unstable. But repeated, repeating the motion over and over, you are going to create more strength and certainly more endurance. We want to have a lot of stability and balance. Okay, let's take a little rest. How are you feeling? How are those legs feeling? Feeling good? All right. Good. Well, let's do one more set of squats. But first, I want to thank you for joining us today on Fit, Fabulous, and Over 50, and keep on swinging. Let's do one more. We'll do one more round. Start with your right leg, and we'll balance. Good. Good. Now really work on that right leg, because that's your weak side. Pull up and you, pull up and you out.